Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. We had the inspiration as we're in Ramadan to do an exploration of the Surah Fatiha. So um, some of you are very familiar with it, but for others of you, maybe not. And we thought anyway, we can um, go into it in some depth and share other dances and practices that kind of link in with it. So that's our strategy. <laughs> And one of the things I said in our our um, little message, which not everyone may have seen or received, is that when I read a translation of the uh, Surah Fatiha, phrases from it remind me of some of uh, Hazrat Nayak Khan's prayers, little phrases jumping out. And I think, ah, you know, here is some some of the inspiration, well, a lot of the inspiration for uh, parts of the prayers that he put together back, you know, a hundred years ago. Um, mm. For for the people he was teaching in English. So let's. Um say the invocation together and then we'll say the Surah Fatiha and if you know it you can join with us. Can we say the expanded version? We can say the expanded version. Towards, Towards the, the one, one, the, the perfection, perfection of, of love, love, harmony and beauty, beauty the, the only being, being united with all the illuminated souls who form the embodiment of the Master, the message, the mystery, the miracle, the mother, the spirit of guidance. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawmideen Iyaka Nabudu wa Iyaka Nasta'in Ihtina Sirat Al-Mustaqim Sirat Al-Adina Anamta Alayn Khayl Mahdubi Alayn Waladalin Amin mean so um the surah fatiha the opening the, the fatiha comes from the word for opening it's the opener of the quran and it's um the surah the verse which is most often repeated um and um like most of the surahs in the quran it begins with that very familiar phrase, Bismillah, Irrahman, Irrahim. So, Sonic's just renaming Majida. So, um, Bismillah, Irrahman, Irrahim. <laughs> He's done another one of his subtle throwing things away there. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's going well. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. <laughs> so, actually, we're going to begin with a dance yeah. and then we'll tell you a bit more about Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So, do you want to go oh, through yeah, the I'll words of the dance first? first? Yeah. So we've got Bismillah. Oh, sorry, you're leading this, aren't you? Bismillah. Bismillah. Irrahman. No, it's not. Alhamdulillah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. Al Bismillah, alhamdulillah. Bismillah, alhamdulillah. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. Bismillah. Bismillah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. 
Can I say a bit about it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, well, one thing I've, I really want to share is that when, whenever I teach the Surah Fatiha, it really reminds me of being in Morocco. It's something that I've done every time I've that I've been there. Is every time I've taken groups there is that we've spent the week learning the Surah Fatiha, and uh, as well as that, we've done many other lovely things there and, and most of us often try to learn a few words of Arabic so that we can speak a little bit with people in the market or whatever and one of the words that we were taught was to say smiti which means my name is and I thought oh yeah smi like b smi la so it's this is it literally means b is in or with or um, many things but those two in or with Smi, the name, which is related to the Shem of uh, of Hebrew, so it's uh, what well, it's um, it is literally the name, like Jelani or Salik, but it's also what identifies a person. How do we know that somebody has come into the room? It's not a collection of letters. It's it's their atmosphere. It's their vibration. It's the light of their being, and that's what this name means. And then Allah. So that's what Bismillah means. There we go. Thank you. Arabic lesson. You'll Nothing also find it somewhere in the middle of Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> that's something else. Bismillah. Bismillah. Alhamdulillah. 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 All praise and thanks return to the one, the one being. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. Nothing exists that is not part of unity. Only God. Only the one. And you're going to play the oh, guitar. Oh, sorry, I am. Whoops. <laughs> this is what happens when we have a day <laughs> off. <laughs> we lose the plot completely. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha illallah. Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha illallah. Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha illallah. Bismillah, Alhamdulillah. known as the Bismillah greeting dance so it's an opportunity for us to to greet each other and I thought maybe we could intentionally greet each person in their window in turn on each round of the dance as we go through it it's very very simple we're just bowing doing the dervish bow so left hand right hand so we Crossing our hands over our heart, touching shoulders. Bismillah. And then touching our heart and throwing our hands open to the heavens. Alhamdulillah. And then on La ilaha illallah, we're going to be greeting somebody. And normally, when we're in person, we would be joining palms, touching palms, stepping forward, touching palms, it's like this. And then we'd, then we'd actually pass our partner. And um, making eye contact as we touch palms. And, well, we won't walk past each other because we'll end up knocking the computer over, so. La ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, bismillah, alhamdulillah, la ilaha illallah, bismillah, alhamdulillah, la ilaha
just coming back to the breath, coming into the body with our attention, noticing how we are right now. Breath rising and falling, heart beating. And then maybe opening our eyes, connecting again with each other. Bismillah, Bismillah, Bismillah. Mm. Thank you for sharing that with us. So welcome to the people who've arrived since we were doing that first dance. And we're going to, um, I think, move on to another dance now with the whole of the Bismillah, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim phrase. So um, we'll, we'll go through that word by word. Bismillah. Bismillah. Ir Rahman. Ir Rahman. Ir Rahim. Ir Rahim. So, um, as we said before, in the vibration of unity, in the presence of the only being, we recognize the flavor of love, the sun and moon of love, the Rahman and the Rahim. So when we feel that flavor, we know that the Holy One is there. So to share with you a, a couple of different um, traditional or less traditional translations of that phrase. Um, we could say we begin in the name of God, everlasting mercy, infinite compassion. Or um, in the expanded translation by Sadi, Neil Douglas Klotz, Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim, upon hearing the irresistible voice of love's wellspring and God, we are led to affirm that what follows alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin so this irresistible voice of love's wellspring and god unity So the, the whole of the Surah Fateh has, has been sent to music by Sadi um, and often music makes it easier for us to learn unfamiliar phrases. Um, I think I'm actually not going to teach his tune for the Bismillah this week because we've got so much we want to fit in. Uh, I think we'll come back to it. Um, we've sung the Bismillah, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, even though to a different melody. But let's move on to the next line, what it is that we're affirming. Alhamdulillah, Ya Rabbi, Lalameen, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. So, all praise returns to the Holy One, the creator and sustainer of all the worlds. And just in case you forgot, Ar-Rahman Rahim, whose nature is love, mercy and compassion. I really, I just love that, that we have that repeated within a, a matter of words. It's so important that we remember that the nature of this Holy One we're talking about is love. Just in case you forgot. 
Alachma Nirahim. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. He Rabil Alamin. Rabil Alamin. So Rabbi is this word which means creator and sustainer. And um, I think we're going to go off at a bit of a tangent here and talk about that. There's a, a dance which many of you have danced with me before, which helps us to enter a bit more into an experience of this Rabbi Alamin, this creator and sustainer of all the words, all the worlds and all the words. Um, so that's not going to work. <laughs> it isn't going to fall off. <laughs> Sorry, we're having a few little <laughs> background. There we go. Technical things today. So this is um, a phrase from elsewhere in the Quran, from the creation story, as it's reported in the Quran. And according to this story, which I will paraphrase and elaborate slightly perhaps, um, the Holy One comes in turn to every part of creation and says, will you bear witness? Will you recognize me as your creator and sustainer? And of course the catch is that in order to do that, it's necessary to separate because we can only have consciousness, conscious awareness and reflect back this image when we allow ourselves to be separate, to step out and look back. And so the story goes that the Holy One asks it of the mountains, will you do this for me? And the mountains say, no, how could we, how could we forget? How can we do that? We, it's not possible. The Holy One goes to the plants and the trees, will you do this for me? It's too much. You're asking too much of us to separate from you. We can't do it. And the Holy One is saying, I was, I was a hidden treasure and I wished to be known. That's what Ibn al-Arabi says about this um, as well. And um, so the Holy One comes to the animals and the birds. Will you do this? Will you bear witness? Will you recognize me? It's too much to ask us. You can't do this to us. We don't accept. Much as we would love to, we can't do this for you. And finally, the Holy One comes to the human beings. Will you do this for me? Will you bear witness that I am your creator and sustainer? And the human beings, of course, say, why not? What could possibly go wrong? So in the words of the Quran, the humans, the, <laughs> I love this, that we're known as the insan, the insane ones <laughs> in Arabic. <laughs> Insana uh, is the word for human. We say, um, Ba'ala shahidna, we will bear witness. Ba'ala shahidna, why not? We will bear witness. La ilaha illallah. This is why the zikr phrase is called, zikr means remembrance. And this is why. Because we have chosen to forget in order to remember again. 
And this is what it means to be human. We believe ourselves to be separate. We've forgotten our union. We have to remind ourselves, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah. There is no separation. But the gift that we give the Holy One by taking on this terrible burden of separation, the gift is that we look back and bear witness. Yes, you are our creator and sustainer. So in the words of the Holy One, Alastu bi rabikum. Am I not your creator and sustainer? Alastu bi rabikum. Alastu bi rabikum. So this rabbi is the word which is coming in the Surah Fatiha. Alastu bi rabikum. Alastu bi rabikum. Am I not your creator and sustainer? La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. There is no separation. Remember, remember. And the humans, the insana, say, Wa Allah shahidna. Wa Allah shahidna. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. Yes, we will bear witness. There is no separation. Let's have the cord for that. the whole of the Holy One's speech. Yeah, I think we better take it back a little bit. Why don't we take it all the way down to A? See how that is. Alas <laughs> to Answer of the human beings. Allah Just to say that at the end of the dance, we might go into for a while just singing La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah. Very good. I think we better try a capo too. Sorry, we'll find our key eventually. Our voices aren't very compatible in some ways. There we go. <laughs> So let's um, let's stand up and we'll we'll do some movements with this. So we're leaning with our heart, and we can really lean into this holding of this creator and sustainer 
It's, it's not just that we were brought into being. That's not just what the Holy One is promising us or is reminding us of. It's also sustaining us. That's the deal. We are created and sustained. Am I not both your creator and your sustainer? So we lean to the left and let go into that. Alas, to be rapi. And then back and then to the right. Alas, to be rapi. Alas, to be rapi. Laila, ha, ha. And come on, just look at that one there. Just... get the timing of that a bit wrong. Let's try that again. It's like this. Alas to be Alas to be This time we make a crescent from left to right. Alas to be And this crescent shape, you know, like the crescent moon, it's this holding, it's the rahim, it's the, this holding, sustaining power that we can just drop into and know that we are held. So let's really appreciate that. We make that shape with our hearts and then we drop into it. Let's try that again. Alas tu birabikum, alas tu birabikum. cherish you, I sustain you in love. And then the insan, the insana, the, the human beings in this beautiful, agonizing naivety of simplicity. Why not? What could possibly go wrong? We'll do this. This is what humans do. We're willing. We step forward. We give it a go. We're willing to forget in order to serve our creator. Willing where nobody else was willing. <laughs>
So this um, shahidna, this witnessing, uh, it's what we're called to do. And uh, if you hear the call to prayer, what's said is ashada, I witness, la ilaha illallah. This is what the, this is what we've been doing since the dawn of creation, since that moment when we, we gave this greatest gift to the beloved the gift of forgetting so that we could remember bear witness do you want to read it? You're giving it to me it so happens but the next um, of the wazifas on our list is Ya Shahid, the witness. So I will read a few words from the positions of the heart. A shahid is the quality that expresses God's witnessing all things without limitation. It is the whole realm of outer knowledge that is perceived by the five senses. I mean, that's how we bear witness, is through our senses, through our consciousness, through our awareness. Human beings who fully reflect this quality are able to witness whatever arises in their perception without prejudice. They know God in nature through all their senses. And there's an advanced Sufi practice of mushahida that involves fully embodying the flow of actively witnessing God in all possible aspects within the globe of the heart. This is um, in some ways a reference to the practice that we've talked about of being able to see perfection in everything, being able to see the teacher, the beloved, in every problem, every situation, every difficulty. This is bearing witness. Mm. 
So I was just thinking about this as you were talking and about that last dance and what is it that we're being asked to do as humans or what are we asking of ourselves if we're on this mystical path of trying to bring into our awareness both the unity and the, um, the manifested duality or the separateness or the separate beings that we see all around us that Jalan has just been talking about can we hold both of those in our awareness at the same time and it's like this is what the human heart can do if we can pull into our heart the awareness of unity and the awareness of separateness that's where it can abide in in love in in the human heart and um I was going to say something else, but it's gone now. Maybe it'll come back. Well, I could just read a, a few more this, lines and see if it comes back. That's the challenge, the challenge of being human. That's right. Oh, oh the, the consciousness. I sometimes think, you know, when I'm talking to my sons, particularly one of my sons who's very sceptical about uh, spiritual things, I say, but isn't just consciousness is an unbelievable thing isn't it? The fact that matter has become conscious of itself. Just that, you know, it doesn't matter what you believe about any metaphysical things, or whether there's other dimensions, or whether we have auras, or whether we can communicate at a distance, or anything like that. Just the idea that, that matter has developed and evolved, and then can become aware of its own existence, is incredible miraculous miraculous and then if we can become aware of our existence and our unity at the same time wow isn't that amazing and it is one of the the things when you compare humans with animals um who you could say were conscious um because they know they exist and they know that they're hungry or thirsty or they feel fear or tired or whatever else they're feeling but uh, the difference is that they animals know that they're not separate they don't have that anxiety that sort of existential anxiety that that humans have that comes through this awareness of separateness and unity at the same time this huge task that the human heart has been asked to bear so I'm just going to read a tiny bit more. In the Quran, angels are described as ash-shahid, the witnesses, and the insan kamal, the complete human being, is also called ash-shahid, as is Allah in the most complete possible sense of witnessing. Allah witnesses Allah's own reality. Um, shahada, one of the forms of the root of this name, has the same root meaning as the word earth. And the sense of this is that the earth is a silent witness. Um, that always makes me think of the story about the, the Buddha saying, um, in, in the same situation really, being asked, um, being tempted by the demons, if you like, um, to bear witness. And he says, the earth is my witness and then poof, the enlightenment happens so yeah um, but it is that this this nature the quality that the, the nature of our being is witness yeah shaheed that's the, the human beings the job the role of our it's our life purpose to bear witness so let's just do a few repetitions of Ya Shahid and then we'll bring our story back round. So this witnessing, Ashada, La ilaha illallah, I bear witness, there is no separation. Ya Shahid, Ya Shahid, Ya Shahid, Ya Shahid. Ya Shahid, Ya Shahid, Ya Shahid, Ya Shahid, 
Ya Shahid. 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 So breathing the words silently, feeling the continuing echoes of those sounds, that explosion of sha, and then the landing, the witnessing heed, feeling it landing in the body. As we let the sounds fall away, we can just continue to bear witness with all of our five senses. Fully present to taste, sound, hearing, smell, sight, touch. These senses through which we witness the world, witness the glory of Allah, witness this creator and sustainer. Creator, the sustainer becoming conscious of herself through us. Amin ya shahid. So I'm just going to share the screen for a few moments and we'll look at this work of Sardine of Neil Douglas Klotz. So the opening Surah Fatiha, the first Surah of the Quran. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Upon hearing the irresistible voice of the love's wellspring and goal where love begins and where love ends, where love starts to shine and where it lands. We are led to affirm that 
Alhamdulillah, ye Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman, ye Rahim. Whatever the universe does, small or large, through any being or communion of beings which helps further its purpose, this act celebrates the source of our unfolding story. The essence of all praiseworthy qualities constantly returns to the one being. Give praise and celebrate. So all of that is Alhamdulillah. Every little bird is constantly singing its praise to the one being. The essence of all praiseworthy qualities constantly returns to the one. Give praise and celebrate. This being of beings mysteriously nurtures and sustains, grows and brings to maturity all worlds, universes, pluriverses, all aspects of consciousness and knowledge, all storylines and lesson plans. So here we are, the Rabbi Lalamin, the creator and sustainer of all the worlds, of all dimensions of existence. And just in case you forgot, Ar-Rahman Irahim, this source is the original womb of love in all its aspects. The wellspring and the goal of love. I think next time we meet, we'll do a bit more work on Alhamdulillah, because there's a lot that can be said about that. Excellent. <laughs> but for now, I've ta put those words in the chat in case you need to be reminded of them. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. All praise, all glory to the one, the creator and sustainer of all the worlds who just in case you forgot, is love in all its forms, the source of love and the goal of love. Um, Neil Douglas Klotz, I, I've got my guitar in my hand so I can't write it right now, is the name of that. Yeah. And you can find this on his website. Alhamdulillah, 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 Rabbil Alameen, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Ar-Rahman.
Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Rahmani Rahim So that's as far as we're going to go through the Surah Fatiha today. We're going to take it further next time. But um, Salik has another dance to share with us, I think. Oh, yes. <laughs> ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. Ishq Allah, Mabud Allah. Ishq Allah, Mabud Allah. This is the only bit of Arabic we haven't done so far today. God is love, lover and beloved. Ishq Allah, Mabud Allah. Ishq Allah, Mabud Allah. Bismillah, Alhamdulillah. Bismillah, Alhamdulillah. Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. Penetrating deep, holding, dark, enfolding love. Ya Rahim. So we do that twice, connecting with each other. Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. One hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. This is what um, Sadi is referring to as the, the wellspring of love and the goal of love where love begins and where it lands. Mm, nice. Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. And then we're going to do this familiar movement like with uh, the zikr phrase, carving this receptive crescent moon and then dipping our heart into the darkness. La ilaha illallah. And then we're going to be on Ishkala Mabudlallah, moving 
towards each other, being pulled by this ishq, by this love, and moving away, separating again, this back and forth experience that we have. And then, as we've already done today, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah. All praise and thanks returning to the one. And then we're going to turn on the last Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, radiating on Rahman as we turn, doing a sun spin. Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. Love returning to the source. Okay. Just copy Jelani until she picks up her viola. You can copy that too. Yeah, but you've got one handy. Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah,
Vibrating within us, along with the sound. Rahim. Amin. Amin. I was just feeling that was part of the Shahid is witnessing what that feels like. So we'll say the Surah Fatiha again to finish and also we will then close with one of Hazrat Inayat Khan's prayers. We'll share the screen for that. But first of all, join with us if you know it. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Al-Rahim Maliki Yawmidin Yaka Nabudu wa Yaka Nasta'in Ihtina Sirat Al-Mustakhim Sirat Al-Adina Anamta Alayn Khayl Makhdubi Alayn Walada Amen. 
O Thou, who art the perfection of love, harmony and beauty, Lord of heaven and earth, open our hearts that we may hear thy voice, which constantly comes from within. Disclose to us thy divine light, which is hidden in our souls, that we may know and understand life better. Most merciful and compassionate God, give us thy great goodness, teach us thy loving forgiveness, raise us above the distinctions and differences which divide. Send us the peace of thy divine spirit and unite us all in thy perfect being. Amen.